uh, let's just go back to to when we call stupidity. See now there was that thing called Darwin. There was a guy called Charles Darwin. He saw somebody and he said there's a thing called evolution. And then all the books that those those white people were writing, just after Darwin checked his thing was like when we go to Africa, evolution, it happens like this. There are apes. Then near yeah, the apes are Africans and there's a white man standing like this. So that person who fungu at the first churches, that's how they thought. Here. And we've built our institutions, our best schools, our top schools, my alliance, Paka, government colleges. That sensibility filters into something. So, for example, you go on Facebook when you're talking about homosexuality and you find somebody with three degrees who went to a good school saying, Africans are natural. And that is why homosexuality is bad. Africans are just natural. Which means Africans are close to nature. Which is coming from these Africans are near apes. So now you, you don't see whose job you're doing for free. <laughs> yeah. Because me, I never seen no natural human homo sapiens. Those are people who make what they are, who control their fate, who imagine their fate. There's no such thing of Africans are natural. Well, dogs are natural. Grass is natural. The others are natural. Christians Africans are not natural. What the hell is this thing, you know? It is such a deep embedded self-hate. And I was brought up to hate myself like that. To look outside the window and seeing people making my loud noises at night and being like, guy, those Africans, guy, 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 guy. Sisi to receive civilization. And because I've received civilization, if I work hard, I'll go and I'll get a scholarship. And when I get a scholarship, I shall come back and then attend Bible study. Because hapa hiyo sitaki yo, hiyo itagusha. Itagusha. Izo need. It's a mixture of demons. It's a demon. So now you have said what? Pentecostal in Akwambia, ati, everyone who ever existed in Africa until Muzungu came here is in hell, burning. A natural burning. I am not opening a church, so I'm not interested in conversions. I'm interested in a conversation. Pentecostal Muri Jenga Shuringapi. Me in 1984, I was in Joro Boys Form 1 when that thing was starting. Joro, a town with a wool warehouse where there was no more wool coming, yeah? As our economy starts tanking, we walked one day on a free Saturday and I counted 27 churches. Built with the money of Africans. 27. The way the churches are built is so nice. Poor people pay to build churches that are beautiful and expensive. But the places you're supposed to build for your children's imagination to grow to build new things, me, I don't see them. So I'm asking the Pentecostal movement, what have you built? So you can say, Gah! Ah, Apana. <laughs> so yes, I have some things to say. So me, I'm just like, where do guys innovate? Where do they make new things? Where are the new things? Because now what you'll be making is people who are just import. And then you make a deal for Nini with some two Chinese, and then you hustle, and you build a big house for your kids, and then you send them to private school. But you, your church that you run, is there in Tao. Where the poor are 90, come and give you 10% of their income every month for them to go and scream at them. Let me ask you, is it not madness? Now, you, you know you hear every year another new madness. The new one is like guys eating grass. And then you want to go and chase homosexuals. There's a pastor who made people eat grass. Grass! And then, in Uganda, there's this entire group of people who committed suicide to go to heaven. Because they feel lost in a world where there's no accountability, there's bad politics, leaders are messing with you, right? So, of course, the same pastor who's Kazo, they go drink in the club with those guys, are like, your problem is you. It's not that you're being messed by Siasa, the problem is you. If you eat grass, or if you pray, if I remove the demon that's inside you, you become a proper citizen because it's not people like me who are messing you. What new thing do you make? 
How many pastors, like you are what, a hundred million? Because those Nigerian ones, they fly in planes. Fleets and fleets of planes, right? <laughs> and the church is bigger and bigger and bigger. And you are living in more and more misery. Sitting there, being told, being told, being told, the problem is you. The problem is you. Hiya. And then my strange people still arrive from America. I told you, those grandchildren of slavers. Then some crazy ass Nigerian was like half a drug dealer and half a anything else who reconverted himself by saying Mungu alini accept. He comes to scream here for you and you're like, Do you get to? What is that thing? <laughs> I don't want. Just show me one alliance you guys can build. Then you say we have a program. Because it's been 20 years of this stuff. I want to see. where. What are your results? Can you just give in bullet points? Clearly. What are your objectives? We have removed 1.2 million demons from Africans in whatever, right? We have built uh, churches. We have occupied plots from slum to slum to place, right? We have built what? We have a factory that makes a new idea. One, one. Even three, five, seven. I'm sure there are some. I'm not saying they are not. They are there. I actually do know they are there. But that's not the trend. And that's not the space. So it becomes easy when you tell your parishioners. So in the name of Jesus Christ, I want you to go outside and rob to eradicate a homosexual. If you have a neighbor, go and enter the hut there and let it bleed. Throw the hut outside. And so we see the demon.